Hello and welcome back again. So in uh, our previous class, we have learned how to divide our browsers into different frames using this frame deck. And then we have learned how to divide it into rows or as a, and then a column. Now in today's class, we will try to divide our browsers into rows and columns uh, using both rows and then a columns. Now, the important thing to remember when you work together with our rows and then columns, the first thing what we have to do is we have to divide our browsers into rows first and then only after that we have to divide it into uh, columns. So let's get started. So right now we have a one frame set we have divided into two rows after that below this since we want to work along with uh, both rows and columns now we have to declare frame set columns so it should be always at the second so uh, let us try to divide it into three equal bars okay so let us divide it into three equal bars after that since I have given three I have divided into three columns out here this should be three different source after that let's go back after that let's try to use mark you mark you to the HTML so mark you dot HTML okay now out here what we will be having is we will have a uh, two rows and the two rows the first row will have a uh, three columns and then for the second row we have to create it so for now let's give it like this after that let's try to uh, save it i will give it as frames one dot html okay after that let's try to run it inside our browser so it will be like this we have two rows and then in that first row we have three columns now if you want to insert it into the second row let's go back again we have to create it here so let's just um, copy this one after that we just have to we do not have to create four rows again since we have created two rows this is the first column and then in that second column this is the I mean in the second row this is the columns let us divide it only into two let's remove this one okay so we have two rows in that first row we have a column with three columns in the second row we have a column with two frames all right so let's save it let's so it will look like this the first row it have three columns the second row it have two columns and so on so again if you want to create one more row below this one okay so we, if you want to create it again at the top we have to create one more that's it so let us try to create just uh 30 percent all right so if you go and refresh it the 30 person will appear again if you want to add add a column here we have to close this one after that below this we have to create that column here after that how many columns you needed let's make it three for now again after that instead of this let's make it 50 person let's go back to our browser and then let us try to use uh, something um, let's try to use table.html table.html after that let us try to use um, jump.html okay I hope that will work okay let's run it 
so that is how we can create and do a multiple rows in columns uh, using a frames using both rows and then a columns so um, it is not mandatory that you have to divide it into three two and then three we can uh, still you you can have you can define your own frame size you can display uh, any number of your pages as uh, required so that's how uh, we can uh, use frames in HTML so that's all for the frames where we can use a uh, board rows and then the columns so again I I will review it I mean uh, preview it out so whenever you want to use a frames where you will be using both rows and columns make sure to divide it into rows first and then only after that divide your columns for example if you have one two three rows you should have one two and then a three columns and then in the three columns if you have one two three source you have to net if you have divided into three frames you have to divide it into three source here if you have two you need to have a two frame source if you have a three frames I mean uh, columns you need to have a three frame source so that's all uh, thank you so much and then I see you in the next class